going to do a little video here. I recently um, purchased this Hanna Checker for Salinity. And when I first got it, it was actually working spot on. Now I have a refractor. I have two hydrometers. And then I just recently bought this. Um, <laughs> it's a little overkill, but between my old hydrometer, which this is the one I've had for about 10 years, it actually does work, but it, it, it reads about, it reads a little lower than all my other ones. So between this one here, this, and this, none of them were reading, even reading close to the same. So I, I ended up buying this, and I ordered the calibration fluid for this, uh, which now I have. So this is calibrated, and so far, this one here I think is correct. Uh, it does have fluctuation though. So basically, this new hydrometer seems to be spot on accurate with this, and I trust it. You just gotta make sure you get the bubbles off of it when you use them. But that's what I've always used. So I'm making this video because this here was spot on accurate with my hydrometer. Now when I put this in, I'll stick it in. You just stick it in there, and you wait for the little uh, hourglass figure to stop blinking. And then it will stop. Once that stops, it, the temperature has settled and your reading comes up. So here we go. We got 1.022, which is what I know it's going to stay at. There you go. It's all calibrated. It's all there. All right. Now, <clears throat> this one here, that's the same water, and it pulled up a 1.023. Now you can hit read, and sometimes it will read different. Now it's even higher. Hit read again. <laughs> now it's higher. The same one. Read again. Now it's reading a little higher than it was. Um, these things are so finicky. I basically have now come to a conclusion that whatever I get on this, I read it about three times, and whatever I get the most consistent reading from is my answer, and then I compare it to this one. And as long as they're both within each other of almost identical readings, that's it. I don't trust any of these meters by themselves. So right now, Watch, let me hit it again. And the thing is, this here is 1.023. Oh, my light just turned off. Um, so, I don't know why it's reading that now. But, I'll absorb that up. Okay. Clean it out. I'll take a reading here. We'll put it here. Fill it up with much, oh, that wasn't much. My thing here isn't working too good. Fill this up with as much water as you can fit. I like this thing, it works quick. The button, there you go, 1.023. That is the correct reading. Um, but as you saw, it read a little higher, but it, it, you know, you know, take it with a grain of salt here. Um, this thing got good reviews. A lot of people said you have to calibrate it every single time you use it. That is not true. I calibrated it once. I've had it for days now, and I've used it every day about 15 to 20 times with no issues. It Calibration is spot on. And the best thing about this meter is it just uses distilled water for calibration. You don't have to buy any expensive things. I have my $1 bottle of distilled water here, um, and that's it. I You drip the distilled water in there, and you hit zero. And that's it. So I would do it just to show how easy it is. Always use a microfiber cloth or something soft on that surface. So here's my distilled water. We put it in here. Okay, fill it up with as much that it can hold. And you just hit zero. Okay, and that's it. Take it out of there. Okay, dry it up. And that's it, it's calibrated. All right, and then you can come over here, take your water from in there. This dripper is no good anymore, let me tell you. Okay, fill that up. Um, now let's see what we get. Zero, two, three, there you go, see, no difference. So I'm on like four or five days of no calibration. I just did that calibration just to show you guys. But that's it. Now what I can tell you is this thing is accurate, but it does bounce a little. 
Now, the water from that tank, I already knew what that one is. And then, this behind me, my sump. Let me take a reading in here. Okay. Now, that one is zero, zero to four. Okay, we'll fill this one up. Um, I do suggest popping a bubble if it's in there. And let's see what we get on the first read. 1.024, and that is exactly what my sump is, okay? I've already done it with the refractor, and I've already done it with the Coralite. They all read the same. I got all my things calibrated together. Um, a lot of people say these hydrofractors, refractors are not, hydrometers, sorry, are not that accurate, but this one, this is the Coralife. I think it's dead on accurate to everything I have, so. And I do let it sit for a good 10 minutes after I put water in it, because it does, the needle does go up and down a little. Now this one here reads, whatever these read, it reads one under. So, so that reads 0.024, this would be reading 0.023. Uh, it's just how it is. It's 10 years old. It's probably knocked out of whack. But anyways, so I thought I'd just go over that. Um, this thing works as it should. And, and, and on Amazon, the, the reviews were like, it needs to be calibrating before each test. I don't know why they're saying this. In the book, it says it does not need to be calibrated every usage. You, you know... And once again, take that with a grain of salt. Calibrate it when you think it needs it. So, so there's that. Oh shit, I just got water all over it. All right, now I got more water here. Let me suck that up and take a reading on that one. So here we go. And let's see what that one reads. It should read about the same, and it does. So that's exactly what that water is. All right, so far that is three different samples of water all reading spot on on the first try okay i know this because i've already taken these samples like a dozen times experimenting with all the different testers and then here's another one <laughs> this is my other water let's suck some up let's bring it over and put some in here now this one should be around two three to two four and hit read and what do we get two four and once again that's exactly what that water is. Um, I tested it with my refractor here, and I tested it with my hydrometer here. So this thing is pretty accurate. But this here, the Hannah Checker, I have tried. Now, when I first got this, it was identical to those. Now, that's the reading I got there from all these waters here, because I have them all to the same salinity. Now I'm gonna stick this one in here and watch. It should be 1.024 but it usually doesn't read it. Make sure you shake out any bubbles where the eye is. And here we go, 1.022, that's off quite a bit. This is freshly calibrated. Okay. I'm just letting the hourglass glass figure go away. And there, so that's off by 0.02, which is kind of a lot. Now I can stick this in every one of these and it's off on every single one. So, I already filed a return on this for Amazon. They're sending me a new one. When I first got it, it was the same as the others. Then I noticed, I thought, I used this thing for a month straight. And then I checked my water with this, and I was at 1.028, which is way higher than I should have been. So, I calibrated this. Okay, to calibrate it, it's pretty easy to do. You take this packet here, you rip it open. You just take this meter here and you stick it in all the way to the bottom and you hit calculate. It will sit there, it will say storing, and then it will be done. Now, what you do is you take it again and stick it back in there and it should read 35 or 1.026 and it does. It reads it spot on. But when I stick it in my water here, here, there, or there, it reads wrong. It's just wrong. So, I don't know. I spoke with Hannah, uh, the Hannah Instruments Company. They told me if it reads correctly when you dip it in here, then it's proper. I went to my fish store. They have a very expensive electronic one, and theirs read, um, well, theirs actually read higher 
than what all mine read, and I actually think his is off. Um, his read 1.026 when this one was reading 0.022, and this one's 024, 024, 024. So I think the guys at the store was off a little. I don't have much to say about the store, but all I can tell you is I'm going to get another one of these in the mail, and I'm going to recheck it and see what that one reads um, and see if it is off because uh, something's not right here. But anyways, I wanted to say this thing's working so, out great. Just did a video on this. I'm going to put this on the end of the video because I'm redoing this again. So now all my sample water is from this bucket. This is reading 1.023. 1.024 my refractor 1.024 same as that and this one was reading 1.023 same as that one so I'll do it right in front of me so you guys can see it stick it in the water is cold in here it's only like 60 degrees um, you just gotta wait for that little hourglass figure to stop blinking actually now it looks like it's probably gonna read lower so now it's reading 1.022 in here. So this one reads lower than everything. Now let's do it again. Stick it back in. 0.022. This is why I just don't trust this one. It is, it's consistent, but it always reads lower than everything else. So that's the same water. And when I hit read, you know, that's what it reads. This is very consistent. This one always reads the same when I reread stuff. Um, and this one is at, as you see, 1.023. Those are known for being pretty inaccurate, but I mean, and then I use my refractor, which is freshly calibrated with this. And this solution is for it. It's the refractor meter calibration and um, it's calibrated perfect to it. And that one is calibrated freshly just now, just for the hell of it. I did it on camera. It made no difference though. Um, you use distilled water. You can use deionized water. I would suggest using distilled water for a more consistent reading. Deionized water can fluctuate. Distilled should be, always use the same brand distilled water so you get the same result. If you switch brands of distilled water, you might get different results.